conflict and courage February 11th toward Sodom. Genesis 13 verse 12 and 13. Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plain and pitched his tent toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. The most fertile region in all Palestine was the Jordan Valley. There were cities also wealthy and beautiful, inviting to profitable traffic in their crowded marts. Dazzled with visions of worldly gain, Lot overlooked the moral and spiritual evils that would be encountered there. He chose him all the plain of Jordan and pitched his tent toward Sodom. How little did he foresee the terrible results of that selfish choice. Lot chose Sodom for his home because he saw that there were advantages to be gained there from a worldly point of view. But after he had established himself and grown rich in earthly treasure, he was convinced that he had made a mistake in not taking into consideration the moral standing of the community in which he was to make his home. The dwellers in Sodom were corrupt. Vile conversation greeted his ears daily, and his righteous soul was vexed by the violence and crime he was powerless to prevent. His children were becoming like these wicked people, for association with them had perverted their morals. Taking all these things into consideration, the worldly riches he had gained seemed small and not worth the price he had paid for them. His family connections were extensive, his children having married among the Sodomites. The Lord's anger was finally kindled against the wicked inhabitants of the city, and angels of God visited Sodom to bring forth Lot that he should not perish in the overthrow of the city. The influence of his wife and the associations of that wicked city would have led him to apostatize from God had it not been for the faithful instruction he had earlier received from Abraham. The marriage of Lot and his choice of Sodom for a home were the first links in a chain of events fraught with evil to the world for many generations. It is Satan's purpose to attract men and women to the cities and to gain his object, he invents every kind of novelty and amusement every kind of excitement and the cities of the earth today are becoming as were the cities before the flood we'll continue tomorrow i hope you have a great day today live courageously